Howdy, it's Jim Arado, and this is mid-June 2022, and we're taking another trip to Gatlinburg because we love Gatlinburg. And I almost thought about not even putting anything up because there's so much info and so many videos out there on Gatlinburg. But, but I love Gatlinburg, and we're here a lot, and... Uh, I know there's times I like to go back and look at older videos of Gatlinburg. And I like to get on Google Maps too and kind of see what was at a certain spot at a different time. So I kind of think, uh, yeah, what the heck, somebody might care about this. And 20 years from now they might want to look back and see what was going on in Gatlinburg in 2022. And maybe maybe they'll enjoy this video. But yeah, this, this is a short one. It's, I don't know, 7 or 8 minutes. And... Just, you know, mostly us driving and walking around Gatlinburg. We were walking... I think the main day we were here was on a Monday in June. And it was still pretty hopping, as, as you'll see. And the weekends... I'm, I'm getting to where I don't want to be here on the weekends. It's just uh, way too crowded. And yeah, that's just me, though. And you can see the traffic. Traffic gets thick. You know, but if, if you've ever lived in a Cleveland or a Chicago or... A Louisville, yeah, this this is manageable. I, I you know, it, it can get a yeah, traffic can get thick, but I never really think about Gatlinburg as being crazy. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, there's a van advertising the Pirates show, Pirates Voyage. We saw that this time. I'm gonna put up another video about that because I totally loved that. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was pricey, but I felt like it was worth it. They kept bringing food out to us the whole time. And the show was unbelievable. So yeah, I guess I'll talk more about that elsewhere. But we really enjoyed that pirate show. Yeah, we're over by the parking garage. We had some friends with us on this visit. Just kind of walked the strip with them. And there's old Red there over uh, kind of where uh, the Hard Rock Cafe used to be. And the, the trolleys, I like the trolleys a lot. Uh, I've used those in the past. And they're just pleasant, and I think they're decorated nicely. I wish they made toys of those, I'd totally buy that. Oh yeah, and there's a little van advertising the uh, Smokies magazine. There's a pink Jeep. Anybody done a pink Jeep tour through uh, the Smoky Mountains? I, I don't know if that would be any fun or not. I, you know, I've seen the pink Jeeps out in Arizona. And that totally makes sense to me. But, um, yeah, if, if you've done a pink Jeep tour in this area, let me know. Just walking around some more. I wanted to go back to that Smokey's Life magazine, though. That uh, I subscribe to that. You you pay, I think it's 35 bucks a year to be a member. And you, you get their quarterly magazine. I really like that magazine. And since we saw the little van advertising it, I just... Just thought I would mention that. We oh yeah, there's uh, the ski lift up there that was damaged by the 2016 fires. Obviously, they've got it up and running again though, which is great, and they've done a great job of kind of getting the place greened up again after those fires. And as you know, there were some more fires not too long ago, but they, uh, you know, I think I think they had those not really contained. But they had an eye on them and evacuated and handled things a little bit differently um, when those fires broke out. Anyway, I think we've been coming to Gatlinburg in this area for since about 2008. And we try to make it here a few times a year and just, just love it. You know, this area, the Smoky Mountains, Pigeon Forge, there, there's so much going on. And, you know, again, we, we had a group of people that we met with. And there was plenty for everybody, including uh, some of the kids that were in the group. And, you know, um, like I said, we've been coming to this area for, for, you know, almost a couple of decades now, frequently. And seeing the pirate show, this was the first time we actually did one of the, the dinner shows. Um, you know, there, there's plenty of things to do here, and there's things that I remember seeing when we first adventured out to this area. You know, and I remember thinking, man, I want to do that next time we're in town, and we've just never gotten around to doing some of those things. A uh, couple shops I like a lot. I like Jonathan's. Jonathan's Bare Necessities. 
look that up if uh, if you're in the area. It's just a really neat little shop. Uh, they've got all sorts of cool shirts, stickers. They have a nice local book selection, which other stores kind of neglect. And it's well stocked, and I always look forward to going in there. Of course, Gatlinburg's just a good, crazy place to people watch. And, oh yeah, Moonshine. <laughs> Yeah, and there was there was a moonshine tasting, followed by some entertainment. Yeah, the moonshine tasting to me, yeah, you got to do it once or twice when you're in Gatlinburg. You you just have to. I, I did notice they're using smaller glasses than they used to, and I know the last time we did a tasting, I think they gave us 13 different things to try, and I think they're down to about half that now, uh, which is probably a good thing. But I just noticed that they're, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a smaller thing there. I think you, you pay five bucks to do a tasting, and then they give you a five dollar off coupon for a purchase in the store. So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, if you're in Gatlinburg, you've got to do that. And there's just so many little shops, so many little places to eat. There's the donut fryers, coffee places. Anyway, I just thought I'd put up a quick video uh, for you to check out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.